118. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. <coughs> Let Israel say, his love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. In my anguish I cried to the Lord, and he answered me by setting me free. The Lord is with me, he is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. I will look on my enemies in triumph. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All the nations surround me, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surround me on every side, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They swarmed around me like bees, but they died out as quickly as burning thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. I was pushed back and about to fall. But the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my defender. He has become my salvation. Amen. 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 Thank you. since we were in school. We've grown up together. I've known him for ages and ages. <laughs> okay, so hey everybody. I'm reading from John 20, um, verses 1 through 18. Do you want me to go ahead and read? Okay, well let's start. Okay, I'm nervous. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb. And she saw that the stone had been removed. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. And she said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, but I don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple started for the tomb. Both were running, and the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter, who was behind him, arrived and went into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there. Wait, I lost my spot. Hang on. <laughs> um, where was I? Then the other disciple went into the tomb. He saw 
saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the burial cloth that had been around Jesus' head. The cloth was folded up by itself, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple reached the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not understand from the scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their homes, but Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look in the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' head had been, and the other at his foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? She responded, They have taken my Lord away, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus asked, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking that he was a gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus turned to her and said, Mary. She turned to him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet returned to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am returning to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the other disciples with the news. I have seen the Lord, And she told them that he had said these things to her. Amen. 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 The word of God for the people of God. Praise Praise God. God.